In this video, I'm going to be unboxing and taking a look at a Gigabyte motherboard here. This is a Socket 1155 board. It's the B75M D3V, if you can't tell. Take a look. This is the Ultra Dural, excuse me, Ultra Durable 4 series, and there is a three-year warranty on this as well. Take a look there on the side. See the back has some uh, specifications and some other claim to fame. Okay, let's pop this open. Okay, we've got some SATA cables. There's uh, one right angle and one straight. We've got. Wow, this is uh, okay. Three-year warranty, entirely in Spanish. I think I must have gotten the, huh, not in English at all, okay. Uh, the user guide is in English for me, so that's good. I'll have a hard time reading if it was in Spanish. Then we have a driver disc and utilities. Here is the multilingual installation guide. Rear I.O. shield. Nothing special, pretty standard. And now I'll get to to the motherboard. Okay, so we'll take a look at some of the features here. We've got uh, all solid capacitors, serial ATH, 6 gigabits a second, socket 1155, so yeah, pretty uh, pretty standard, dual BIOS, ERP ready, there's PCI Express 3.0 on this board as well, USB 3.0, built-in DVI if your processor has uh, graphics, then uh, it will uh, utilize the DVI or VGA port there. Designed in Taipei. Okay, well, now let's take a look. We'll start with the rear I.O. We've got a PS2 multi port there and two USB 2.0s. We've got VGA, DVI, and oddly enough, we have a parallel printer port on this new of a motherboard, which is weird, but okay, uh, whatever. And then with USB 3.0 two more 2.0 gigabit LAN and uh, basic sound got one PCI, two PCI Express and then the aforementioned PCI Express by 16 and then down here we have SATA 2's are in the blue so there's four SATA 2's and then SATA oh here we go here that's interesting um, SATA 2 and SATA 3 down there, so that's interesting. So only one of these ports is actually SATA 3, the other one is SATA 2. So we have a SATA 2 port and then a SATA 3 port down there. So there's actually only one SATA 3 port on this board as the other ones are listing as SATA 2. Well, that's interesting. I haven't seen that before. We've got a uh, USB 3.0 down there, and then all of the front panel connectors. We've got a clear CMOS jumper. Um, actually, so oh, right, must be that one back there. I'm wondering. Maybe we'll find it later. Okay, then we've got USB for the fronts there, and a COM port, and front panel audio. Okay, and then we'll move up and around. We've got the battery there. Let's see, we've got. Uh, couple of fan headers here. There's a CPU fan and a system fan. Both are four pin PWM fans. And then as we come around we've got uh, two uh, DDR3 RAM slots and we've got the four pin there, the 24 pin there. And that looks like it rounds it out. I was trying to find if we had any more uh, fan headers on here but it just appears that all we had was the two there, and yeah, that's too bad. I'd like to see at least one more fan header on this, but I suppose you could use a Y cable there if you needed to. So that pretty much uh, wraps up this look at the Gigabyte motherboard. This is, again, the B75M Micro ATX board. And uh, as always, thank you for watching.